All right, welcome to Clarksville in Frederick County. And this is going to be the first episode of the new series I'm starting. As you can see, some of the city is already built. We, I, I did record some of this. You know, it, it took me a while to really figure out style and how to make, uh, make videos for this stuff. It's not as simple as I originally thought. So uh, I've built up a significant amount of it, but there's also a lot to redevelop and uh, that hasn't been developed. So I think there'll be plenty of interesting things to go over uh, despite some of it already being built. And yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into the concept. So you'll see that I differ from a lot of creators that I've seen um, over the years in that I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be zoomed in, you know, I'm not gonna be zoomed in to street corners, uh, placing props and you know, making sure there's a park bench on every sidewalk, stuff like that. Like that, that stuff isn't what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I just don't find it, well, I find it interesting, but also I find that you, when you spend so much time on such a small uh, section of the city, you know, it takes forever, it's gonna take forever to actually create a city. And I think if you have only got, you know, two blocks of downtown, but they look like, they all look super real because they have props everywhere and all that, you miss out on the whole point, which was to build a city. So you'll see that I'm gonna focus a lot more on scale. Uh, I intend to actually, you know, fully build out somewhat efficiently this whole this whole region. It'll be a little bit different from what the norm is that I've seen, but I, you know, this is how I play the game, so it is what it is. Uh, uh, the inspiration for the city is going to be St. Louis, Missouri, and Nashville, Tennessee. So uh, it's a capital. It's going to be a capital city uh, for for the hypothetical state that it's in, and I've started. Uh, the process on some of that here and then also you know the way it's on a river I, I think a lot of it's going to be primarily modeled after St. Louis except for the downtown the downtown um, I intend to make a little bit take a little bit more from from Nashville so I think you'll see reflections of that as you know as, as the series goes on uh, and because of how I'm setting this up um, in the future if the if the region is stable and you know over the coming updates um, I want to do a season two where uh, I build in, an even bigger city in the in the center of the region and that would be probably inspired by like Minneapolis and Dallas Fort Worth area uh, like having two cities so close together so there's potential for that in the future. Just to kind of overview, since I've already built so much, I feel like I should kind of explain uh, some of the thought process here. So downtown, um, you've got the Capital District, you've got the Capital District, um, the train station, and then the story here is that the downtown main block was the original uh, high density zone and you know, as the city prospered, over time there came more demand to uh, increase the size of the city or increase the size of the high density area. And so you have a lot of, you know, a lot of the older developments are over here and then a lot of the newer developments uh, push out this way. So then as you as you push out towards the city, you kind of get that, that gradual decline in uh, density. Um, and then have the large hospital and uh, you know, medical complexes out here. Uh, this this main section, which I'll put another overlay, will be kind of the inner city neighborhoods. Uh, inner city, but what that really just means is that it's the kind of 1900s to 1930s, 1940s developments. Um, and then, and, as, and there's, there will definitely be certain areas like this one. Uh, it's common to have, you know, a lot of for neighborhoods uh, directly next to the ind industrial developments along the river. So that's something uh, I'm gonna reflect in, in the build. And then uh, as we go out, so the neighborhoods will kind of be 60s to 80s. Uh, you start to see like towards this, this uh, highway, you'll start to see like those ranch houses, uh, like 80s, 90s developments. And then finally, uh, maybe a little bit of, uh, maybe some of them on the inside and a lot of them on the outside. 
predominantly those those two two thousands two thousand tens uh, developments. So uh, I I think it'll be really interesting to kind of reflect the 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 way the age of homes uh, increases as you get further out from a city like St. Louis. Uh, really, a lot most cities are like that. So I think that'll be really interesting to document. So the first project I'm going to be working on is this condo development, uh, specifically moving it over here uh, to this section. And there's two reasons for that. First of all, I'm going to have a transit system, a uh, metro system running uh, through this corridor right here. And it makes sense to me that that would be an area where you'd see a lot of more high end development. And then also this area that's across from it that the condos will be looking at uh, in the future is just going to be more industrial um which isn't isn't like the ideal land use or whatever but it is what you see uh, along the mississippi and a lot of a lot of cities like this uh, and then finally but i'm going to delete all this uh because i realize it doesn't really make sense to have a lot of industrial development along the minor river when it could just be on the major river so uh, I'm gonna be removing this and you know making it look a lot more not terrible but in, because of that I think it just really makes more sense to have the condos be in this section right here so that's what I'm gonna get working on I will be back after the time-lapse
episode hopefully the content will get better and better in quality uh, as i kind of get used to get used to doing stuff like this so i'm um, looking forward to that well thanks for watching